Hey everybody, Matt Sellhorst, Tall Marine Lake Wiley, Pleasure Boat Specialist here with the 2014 Sea Ray 190 Sport. Um, this is a new graphic design for 2014. You've got the uh, black framed windshield, which I think looks great on these boats. Uh, beautiful interior that we'll look at. Uh, this boat can come with or without that uh, single axle trailer. It's a galvanized trailer. You've got the bimini top. Uh, canvas covers always come with uh, the Sea Rays here. And uh, let's go ahead and have a quick look inside. As we look at the 190 in the bow, you'll see how wide those seat backs are. And uh, you can see it kind of angles out there, gives you a wide spot for your butt, and then still gives you a nice walkway as you come in. Your stainless steel grab handles inside the boat. You can see your two bow speakers. And then, of course, the big heavy-duty stainless steel cleats on a 19-foot boat. Uh, this is almost actually a 20-foot boat. That uh, is nice, big hardware. And then, again, your stainless steel capped anchor light it's those little details that set sea ray apart yes it it uh, may be a, a little bit larger investment but it's because of that quality the things like a midship cleat which is nice and heavy duty the uh, quality gel coat the 316 stainless um, that they use just a higher grade stainless steel uh, that's going to avoid the um, tarnishing that uh, some of the cheaper materials uh, allow and then again a, a third cleat you can see on this, uh, like I said, almost 20 foot boat, you've got three cleats and they're positioned properly. So that when you tie up at the dock, you put a fender there and you're at that widest point. You can tie up on the back and uh, your boat's not gonna get all damaged. Here on the swim platform, you've got the nice big swim platform with the three step ladder that folds down. A grab handle right where you need it when you're getting in and out of the boat. Um, that's those little things where the grab handles are, how you can board. Uh, make a, a world of difference and as we step back we're prepping this boat right now um, as we step back I love that the the lines of the uh, on the rear just a, a sharp looking boat you've got the Mercruiser engine which is uh, by far the market leader a, a much less expensive uh, engine to maintain uh, compared to the competitor of the Volvo uh, because the parts are more easily accessible uh, when you talk to techs that work on both um, a majority of them prefer to work on the Mercurs because of the ease of access, the ease of parts, as availability as well. As we look in the boat, you can see the um, sleek helm with the uh, nice round, the classic styling that's never going to go out. Um, the flip up bolstered seats, you can see it's flipped up right there. And uh, they also flip down to give you a nice comfortable seat. And then you've got a a nice big bench with again a curved backrest just some sleek lines those little extras that uh, that make the sea ray a sea ray as we step inside you've got the in-floor ski locker which is uh, covered up by the snap-in carpet right now that's a nice dark color it's going to be easy to maintain just pull that out and wash it off you have your stereo with iPod jack tucked away in the glove box and then as we come around Storage is always important. You have storage up under the front seats. You have this big storage compartment here, which can be used as a cooler if you'd like, wet storage or just uh, regular storage. You can see that's the, a hinge seat, so you don't have to worry about finding a spot to put that cushion when you pull it off. You have, do have a walkway. When you're boarding the boat, you don't have to climb over the upholstery and step down. This seat cushion flips over as well. And then as we look at, we talked about the Mercruiser Drive. As you look at that engine, again, that flips up with two heavy duty gas assists. Look at how big those hinges are. A lot of manufacturers are using just cheap little inexpensive stamped hinges. But again, Sea Ray built a boat to last a lifetime. And uh, they use those big old um, hinges with the gas assist. You've got 190 horsepower with this 4.3 TKS engine. You've got a finished fiberglass floor, which makes it easy to clean up and maintain. Storage, if you can look there, you got storage down below, which just flips up with this compartment here. Easy access to the battery. And again, that Mercruiser power that's so important, especially right now with all the changes in the outboard, in the uh, inboard outboard segment. 
Um, just the easy availability of the Mercruiser parts is huge for, uh, for the next five, 10 years. So again, that's the Sea Ray 190 Sport 2014. Uh, Matt Sell Horse Pleasure Boat Specialist. Give me a call for some more details. 803-831-2101, extension 630. Hey everybody, Matt Sellhorst, Hall Marine Lake Wiley, Pleasure Boat Specialist here with the 2014 Sea Ray 205 Sport. This is the most popular stern drive boat in America for several years running, uh, and, and I'll show you why. You can see it's uh, sitting on a double axle galvanized trailer right now. You've got the bimini top, the canvas cover, uh, I'll just point out one quick thing. This boat's in the in the service shop getting prepped. And uh, if you see these yellow tapes, that says uh, scrape right there. In, in shipment, sometimes these boats get a little, little nick on them. A rock from the highway hits them. And uh, we take the time to go through and prep it in our service department before delivering a boat, um, usually before even putting it on the showroom floor. It's just it's that little attention to detail that you get here at Hall Marine that's uh, not not many other boat dealers do um, they may give it a quick glance over but um, they don't do the full inspection that we do even on the new boats coming in this is a 21 foot boat you've got an eight foot beam and look at how deep those bow seats are nice and deep very comfortable with the backrest uh, curved around you've got your stainless steel grab handle right inside where you need it uh, gives you a, a safe ride for your kids up in the bow You've got storage all up front. You've got a dedicated anchor locker here that um, has a nice heavy duty stainless steel latch and a compartment there to, to tie off your anchor line and a nice big long piano hinge. Again, uh, 3 16 stainless steel, uh, the, the best in the industry that's gonna hold up and um, not tarnish and rust over time if you take good care of it. As we walk to the back, you see you've got the big sun pad. We'll check out the engine here in a little bit. This is all storage under this seat. It's a huge storage compartment. Cup holders, a giant in-floor ski locker you can see there with the snapping carpet. You've got your flip-up bolstered seats on the captain and code captain chair, which allows you to get up high over that windshield. And uh, I like to get up there when I'm pulling uh, people on the tube or wakeboarding. They also flip down for a nice comfortable seat. As we come down, to the rear again you can see the the checks inspection sheet and uh his light that he uses to inspect the entire fiberglass exterior your stern drive mercruiser stern drive with a stainless steel prop very important um we feel the mercruiser power is uh they've got 70 80 percent of the marketplace and uh, what you hear from tax is that the mercruiser is easy to work on and, and over the last year or so, uh, we're hearing from those that work on the Volvos that parts are significantly cheaper and significantly easier to come by um, on the Mercruiser engines than on the Volvos. And that has a lot to do with some changes that are happening in the industry, uh, but that's only gonna get more pronounced here over the next couple of years, I believe. That profile, very sleek, just a, a good looking boat. You've got the heavy duty stainless steel hardware, the cleats on a 21 foot boat, You've got one, two, three cleats per side. They're nice and big. You've got the midship cleat where you need it at the widest point of the boat. You'll see some manufacturers that mount them up here um, where they don't do a whole heck of a lot of good. Um, some that just use two per sides and uh, that, that makes a world of difference when you're actually practically using the boat. Let's go ahead and step up, look at that helm. Class looking helm, easy to read gauges with your depth finder, your speedometer, a cup holder right where you need it, a cigarette charger right there, charge up your phone, and then your stereo is tucked away in the glove box with a built-in cooler right into the dash. This boat's rated for eight people, uh, Coast Guard rated for eight. And again, those all those put together, it's not the cheapest 21 foot boat on the market, but those all put together make it the best selling stern drive fiberglass runabout over the last several years running. We talked about the Mercruiser power. This is powered with the Mercruiser 4.3 MPI. It's 220 horsepower. 
um, fuel injected, multi-port injected engine. You've got the quick drain system that uh, Mercruiser has, has developed, uh, which makes uh, draining that block for, for the freezing weather pretty easy. Uh, something that uh, most folks can do themselves. Easy access to your gear lube, which is right here, as well as your oil and a uh, finished fiberglass floor, which makes, it, it seems small, but 10 years from now, when you go to, to trade in or resell the boat, that uh, bilge compartment looks like new because it's easy to clean and it doesn't just suck in the, um, the fluids and the dirt and the grime from over the years. A great value. The resale on these Sea Rays is, is superior to other, other manufacturers because of all the little things they do, the heavy duty um, gas struts, the big stainless steel hinges, the uh, grade of stainless that they use, all the little things add up to a better resale um, five, 10 years down the line. So again, Matt Sellhorse, the Pleasure Boat Specialist, Hall Marine Lake Wiley. Uh, we're right next to T-Bones on Lake Wiley. Give me a call, 803-831-2101, extension 630.